Hello, this is Robert, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating the Download Manager. So in the dashboard, here we have Downloads. Here's where you manage the files that you've already uploaded for the Download Manager. In this tab, you would add a new file. So coming in here, you would give your upload a name, test.doc4, for example, you can name it anything you want. And here you would enter your file description. So here you would add any information that's necessary or helpful for the person that's logging into the website to access this file. And right here is where you attach your file. This is where you would either upload the actual file or you would select one here that's already uploaded onto your server. So if I click here, I've set the directory for the WordPress Download Manager and I've uploaded three test documents for setting up and testing the plugin and you can see those here but if I were going to upload and I would select the file and scrolling down here this is where you would give the file a version for example version 1 and let's say someone comes along and edits the file or makes a change you could call it 1.2 or version 2 and you can give the link label a name and also set the stock limit if for whatever reason you wanted to limit how many times the file could be downloaded. And right here, allow access. Here is where you set who is able to view this download. So if you click here, it gives you a list of all your user types. So for this website, we have administrator, editor, author, contributor, subscriber, event customer and you also have all visitors so right now it's set to anyone who visits this website and has a link to this file they can see the download page for this file but it doesn't necessarily mean they can download it because right here in lock options you can enable a password and give it a password here whatever you choose so you would publish it and anytime you would make changes in here you would update that we also have the option for enable captcha lock that's where they give you these numbers or letters you have to type in to make sure you're human and not some spy bot but for now i don't have that set so we have our password here enabled and it also gives you the option to set an icon so for example if you're uploading a word document here's a nice little icon for a word document we have a pdf the acrobat icon here for a pdf we have one for powerpoint access or excel access here photoshop files an email attachment a text document there's one here for an audio file or a music file a movie file so i've set up some test documents but right here i set up three test documents and i'll go in here and you see i have the name and it shows you the file that you've attached to this download i just put in a very short description for the test the version number all visitors lock options i put a very simple password and i'll go ahead and attach an icon it's a text document i'll attach this i'll update it so one other thing when you're creating categories because you can create categories for example right here i have school documents if i click on edit right here i can see these are your user types all the different kinds of users for the website and you can select who is able to see these files so if you just wanted administrator editors author and contributors then only these four would be able to see whatever files are attached to this category so that's one way of doing access control besides inside the individual file settings and here in settings this is the one that's important down here these three actually because here is because here you is the login page for the download manager it also has a registration page and a dashboard page this is all set up you don't have to worry about it so if i go to this page here and you're not logged into the website this is what it's going to look like and it gives you the option to register here and that's this one here the register page so we would click on register and it says user registration is disabled because inside the website settings here in the website settings they're general 
we have this unchecked. Anyone can register. So if you want anyone to just be able to go in and register, you would click this. Now instead of this, you would get a registration page. So if you're already logged in, this is what you would get here. You are already logged in. Go to Dashboard. So the three pages that I created for the Download Manager are these. Download Manager Login. And it has a short code for the login form. So if you wanted to have some information before the actual form, some instructions or other important information, you would put that here. So whatever you put here is going to appear above your form. Or if you wanted some information under the form, you put it here. And the same goes for the registration form and the dashboard. So I've created a temporary username and password to test the plugin. So if I'm a person that's coming to the website, I would enter my username and password and log in. And there it takes you to the dashboard. And here the user can see what files are available to them. So for example, test document one. So here we can see the button to download the file. So I'll click on submit. And it says, enter correct password to download. Wrong password. This file is set to all users or all visitors, but it also has a password for downloading. I'll refresh the page. I'll enter the password, it's processing, and now it gives me the option to download the file. So that's how it works. So going back to the dashboard manager, here are the three test files I created. But if I go back and edit one of those files, for example, test document three, and in my allow access, I delete all visitors, and for example, I say only administrators and let's say editors, maybe contributors, whatever you choose. Only they have access to this file. And remember, you can do this at the category level too. So I'll update this. And now I'll go back and here I am in the dashboard again. And I refresh. Now I don't see that third document. I only see the first two because that third document I've set it to a higher user level and at this subscriber user level I don't have access to that other file. So that's how it works. I hope this video was helpful and helps you understand how to use download manager and control access and control access to the files by setting the user levels. This is Robert. Thank you for watching this video.